Hello guys, what's going on? So this is our vocation again. In this video today, we will see how to customize your ugly accessory for Arch Linux desktop. So these are Konki running here. There are several tutorials online how to use Konki and all. But the thing is theming. We will see another theming in Arch Linux. So first of all, we have to download this fantastic theme. Just copy this link and paste it in your browser. Another thing thing is Compton. Now, what is the Compton? A Compton is XFC4 has a composite window manager defaultly which is XWM4. But the problem with the XWM4 composition is this. As you can see, we got some vertical lines here, which is a tearing issue of a composition in XFC4, which don't maintain very well. So we have to provide some third-party uh, composition, which are Compton, and we'll install a Git version. If you have Nvidia graphic cards like me, recently it's not Nvidia, but I have another machine in Nvidia, which I tested. So what happens if you download a, a latest Compton? from official repository which is a 2.5 the problem is it will start uh, hitting nvidia graphic card and the issue was then uh, recovered in 2.83 version or whatever upper version so just install it from your root and uh, as probably we can see here i have already installed so let him install now the another thing is we have to download ambient theme now i love default ubuntu theme so that's why i'm installing this one and you are now probably thinking that why i'm providing two separate um, themes well let's see what happens now ultra flat icons theme which is a black color but official ultra flat i don't know why but expires uh, link is expired and uh, and gnome look and accessory look all over so we are just opening this link and uh, uh, another thing is ubuntu font ubuntu fonts are very crispy and think like very maintained fonts so ubuntu flat sorry just copy this one and you have to just install it it's very easy from official repository and another thing is monaco fonts which are officially mac os x font which are also very crispy and nice and we have to just enter and as you can see i already installed it so i'm not going to do this and another thing is which monaco font you have to choose so please choose this ttf monaco font not other package is like this we have to just install this one so press 3 and it will start downloading and installing but i already installed it so i'm not going to do that and if you want to see another links i will provide all the links in the description these are also another uh, themes that you have to look and if you find something grateful please let me know in the comment section and then we will install these links just download it so right now my default download manager is Parasapolis if you want to download Parasapolis and install it let me uh, check this link here and download now another thing is ambience this third one link again Parasapolis Change download location. And ultra flat. It's very nice download manager, you know. Now three things are downloaded and installed. now go to our download folder and as you can see we have four things are installed i have these plastic themes so what we have to do just 
click these plastic themes uh, as you can see they are all same but if you want to see I will provide again and extract them all again okay extract it here I know that Now we have to just copy these plastic themes. Oops. Okay, so open up your terminal and type sudo tuna and just put dot here and then copy these links and go to user share themes and just paste it. I already copied this, but let's see now. Um, Okay, now copy ambience theme, paste them in user share. Now, uh, Dorian, these themes, these two themes, it's flat and straight. Copy. But this time, we have to just go to user share and icons folder and paste them here so now we have copied all the things and just close them all now starting with the theming what we do we just go to ambience then icons are um, like this or this. This, this there is no much difference but will difference see here as you can see these are light and very nice icons here I think let me tell in comment section what you think about it now another thing is appearance we have to go to font and select Ubuntu fonts for system and text editors font is Monaco now enable anti-aliasing and go to its medium don't use custom dpi which uh, don't know I prefer now go to your window manager settings window manager tweaks and pause this composition stop this and go to window manager and uh, these are pretty pretty much all stuffs green but we choose uh, orange why because our theme is uh, basically ambience okay we choose red now move all these icons here okay. and uh, for Compton go to this link I will provide this link in the description and just copy these things and go to your text edit or uh, command line and then oh steps are these just copy them and paste them here and show it all are ok and then ch more 777.com for um as assuring purpose i just need them and uh, another thing is what we have to do um all stops are done i think so now we have to log out and log in again now as you can see uh, our customization is now done uh, there are little tweaks that I have made now Conky is up and running now to remove this thing here We have to just put a uh, override to Conky just Conky manager as you can see everything is phase uh, fading so uh, Let's see Oh Wow, it's something look like Mac, but I don't like Mac 
transparency and lower okay and lower okay and that is done now go to your con key manager and just um, window type and put override here and uh, another thing is how to um, install Monaco fonts into your sublime text uh, which is my favorite text editor go to your settings and just put it uh, here as you can see font page Monaco that's it font page Monaco and close them all and basic basically all these things are done if you want to download this uh, wallpaper here it's Iron Man wallpaper nothing else as you can see now I think it's pretty pretty nice animation are pretty nice and themes all themes are pretty nice and uh, another main thing what um, happens when you have a laptop of um, like uh, with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth the problem is with XFC network manager you don't like network manager why because this thing is in network manager is not provided so to on and off but here it is but what problem you can access only these things also but uh, gnome network manager provides more things so what to do we have to install gnome setting manager which called gnome control center and just install this thing and you have to Mm. this thing is pretty cool why this thing is pretty cool because everything regarding network manager is very cool in this thing like go to your network manager and network things and if you have wi-fi bluetooth or any other things it's make easy anything but what problem with the gnome network you cannot delete everything it means i cannot delete it wire but from this thing I can delete it easily I don't know I have uh, tried many times to delete network connection but I failed if you know how to do this please let me know in the comment section now what another thing we have to do if you have a Bluetooth so you require something uh, requiring Bluetooth Bluetooth applet but what the uh, wrong with blue man now blue man is uh, nice again but download this bluetooth applet gnome bluetooth applet just open up your terminal and gnome bluetooth and as you can see here it is gnome bluetooth okay and install it and we'll found it uh, here but we don't have a bluetooth right now in my pc but if you have a bluetooth then it will appear here so thank you guys for watching and that's it i will provide all the links in the description you can download it from uh, um, that link and if you know something helpful for me or any other in the community let me know in the comment section so thank you guys for watching and um, if you want more please subscribe